I used to think that WordPress was the best choice to create a website. It had flexibility, a lot of choices, but it also had complex ability to it. Plus AI wasn't all that good. But now that I found Ready AI, I'm able to create a whole website, keeping the design consistency and all the choices available here using AI. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. I must say, Ready just hit the ballpark with this website builder. It can keep the consistency between pages. You can select sections where you want the AI to work with, and you don't have to just talk to it randomly out there to kind of figure out what it has to do. This one has it really nailed down, All right, So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm already working on this website, but I wanna build a brand new one with you so you understand the capabilities of Ready and how good the websites are going to be. So let's go ahead and create a brand new project and I'm going to create a website, but you have the option to create an app too. And then I have the option to select the type of technology that I wanna use for the website. In this case, I'm gonna use the newest technology here, which is the React Next.js, and I'm gonna name my project. In this case, I'm going to say uh, chips, all right? Since it's going to be for computer chips, right? So we're gonna get started and we're gonna describe what the website is going to be for. And in this case, I'm gonna keep it really simple, but I would highly recommend that you really tell it in detail what you want. And you can actually tell what pages you want it to create in order for it to create from the beginning. Now, in this case, I also wanted to build the pages for the top menu. That means that it's also gonna create the next pages for me. So that's the whole website on this prompt, okay? Now you can go ahead and talk to it. You can upload an image or we can just go right ahead and kick this off and let Ready do its job. So let's give it a few minutes and Ready will have a website built for us. So let's wait. Oh yeah, we just have our website ready and it's now a chip tech website. If I would have told it the brand name, it would have added it right here. Now the best part about this is that it generated every single page for this website. So if we go to the about section, it's gonna take us to that section and that page was built with AI. Now one of the best things about the ready AI is the consistency between the pages. Now if I scroll down here, I'm not going to have any issues with the header or any issues with the footer. Plus the style and the colors are going to be the same. Same thing goes if I go to the products section, I will have my page ready to go right here. So here it is, here's a portfolio. There we go, we got our products here. And if I go to the next one, I will view every single one of these. Now that's one of the cool features that Ready has. And another one that I really like is that generally with the website builders, you need to talk to it and kind of tell it where you want it to do something, which I think is super dumb. But in this case, Ready lets you select where you want to make changes. So let me give you an example. All right. so right about here. So I'm gonna use the selector and I'm going to select either the button, the section where I want the changes to be made. So in this case, I'm going to select this section right here. I'm gonna use the selector and I'm going to select the section where I want the changes to be made. So if I select the whole section, if I select this button, maybe I wanna change the color, maybe I wanna make it hover, maybe I wanna make it move, maybe I want to add another button, I just select the option right here. So I'm gonna select this section and it knows that if I talk to AI right now, it knows that the changes that I want are going to be right there. So it's like pinpoint perfection right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell it to add another button. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hit that off. And right now we are working on version one. When this changes, it's gonna change to version two, which helps me come back if I need to. So it's a really good idea that they work it this way. So let's give it a, oh, it's, it's done. All right, so we got version two now. If I click on version one, it's gonna come back to it. So let's scroll down here. And boom, we got the brand new button right here. It keeps the consistency. If I hover over it, it's gonna change just like the other button that it has already created here. But if I wanna change that, again, I'll use the selector and tell it to generate a different look, a different style, maybe do something else. And it's, it's cool that we have that option. Now, I also wanna show you that we can change images really easily. Again, let's go ahead and use the selector. Let's select this section, add the option to change the image or make this in a link. So if they click on it, it'll work. In this case, I don't wanna do that. I want to select image. I can go ahead and upload my own image. I can remove background. I can generate a background and I can even generate a video. So in this case, let's go ahead and generate that with this prompt that it has ready for me. Let's go ahead and confirm and it'll take a few seconds for this to change it into a video. So let's wait. Okay, our video is now ready. You can see now it moves. So let's go ahead and apply this one. But if I want to, I can go ahead and gener generate a new one and change my prompt and just make it the way I actually want. But in this case, I think it's totally fine just for testing purposes. So again, it's modifying the file for my homepage to change that image into a video. So let's get a few seconds. And here we go. We got a nice looking video where it kind of pans. It used the image that it had already and it modified it into video, which I think is pretty cool, right? So 
again, you can make changes using selector and changing it where you want it. Now I can go ahead and talk to it and just make changes in general. But the idea here for me is to use selector and make the changes. Now, what if I want to create a brand new page because I think I forgot to mention it in the beginning? Well, that is possible too. First off, I'm going to use the selector because I wanted to add it in this section and I'm going to tell it that I want to, uh, I want a brand new page and I want the page to be about the chips. So just by knowing what the title is and what the website is about, it's going to know that it has to do with computer chips. So let's give it a few minutes and it's going to generate my brand new page. There we go. It is now ready and we are now on version four since we've been making changes and you see how cool this is because the page was created, the header was modified and the footer was modified. Why? Because it added the brand new page, which is, which is the about the chips. So let's see what it created for us. Again, it's going to keep the consistency. It's going to keep the colors. It's going to keep my header. It's going to keep my footer and we are going to be good to go with the page. So here we go about the chip and it even wrote content that is interesting and works. You can see here it's about computer chips because it knows that's what I wanted. And again, we got our footer looking just like the home page and it added the page here about the chips. So it's super easy to modify it, make changes, change the content. And if I need to change what it says right here, again, use the selector and select it. And we can go ahead and change the text really easily right here. Or we can link this in case we want to convert that into a link or make changes over here with AI. So you can kind of give it the prompt where you tell it to make some modifications or write something that will be more compelling, more interesting, more fun, or however you want to manage that with the AI. But I think it's pretty cool. Now, aside from selector, you also have the option to embed code by selecting embed and adding the code right here and send that off with AI. You can talk to it in case you don't want to type in. You got you got an option to upload an image and send this off right here. And once you're good to go, you are ready to download the code or send it off to Export to Figma, export to Creative, or export to Master Go. You also have the option to publish, and you can also use these integrations that are available as of this video, but they are adding more. But it's just super easy to start, start building a website. Now, you can see in this video that we can build a whole website in a few minutes, and it's not just a landing page. We're talking about a whole website, and just modifying every single aspect is super easy here on Ready. So definitely check it out, sign up and test it out. And you'll find out for yourself. That is one of the best choices that you're going to make to build websites. So that's a wrap for ready.